Hello mga ka-moments, nandito tayo ngayon sa Papu Park. So bago tayo pumasok sa loob, kailangan na muna natin mag, mag disinfect. Ayan. So tara. So bago tayo pumasok sa loob, kailangan natin mag-register dito sa entrance. Ayan. Sulat mo na rin yung pangalan ko tol. So ito. 0997. Thirty-six point six. Zero nine nine seven. Thirty-six point six. Zero nine nine six zero one. Three three five eight. Patay. Ano siya sa sa ano? May entrance po ito. Wala pa ko. Wala pa. So ngayon guys, dati kasi may entrance pirito pero ngayon wala na. So ito ay with my brother, si Utol. Utol parang di ka yan. <laughs> so iikot, iikot ko siya kasi dito ako lumaki actually kasi dyan ako nag-aral sa Arolyo sa tabi lang nito so dito kami dati marami akong memories dito sobra high school memories so ito siya yan ang Paco Park yan ito so ito yan yan guys Alam niyo ba mga ka-moments na ang Paco Park ay originally named as Cementerio General de Hindilao? It's a recreational garden and was once Manila's Municipal Cemetery built by the Dominicans during the Spanish colonial period. It is located on General Luna Street and at the east end of Pedro Paura Street in Paco, Manila. The Paco Park has also become a very popular venue for weddings and receptions for couples who prefer garden-like settings. According to an on-site inscription, an order for the construction of a cemetery in Bagumbayan was issued in 1807 due to the outbreak of a cholera epidemic in Manila. The cemetery was primarily designed as a municipal cemetery for the affluent and established aristocratic Spanish families who resided in the Old Manila, or the city within the walls of Intramuros, during the Spanish colonial era. It was on April 22, 1822, when the cemetery was officially inaugurated, although it had been in use for two years prior to its completion. So mga ka-moments, nandito tayo ngayon sa likod ng Mortuary Chapel na mayroong gate space called the Osario or Angelorio. It was a place of interment for infants and children. Actually mga ka-moments, ang word na Osario ay other term for infant site. So tala, pasukin natin ito. The niches or libingan could never be permanently owned, and so after four or five years, the relatives of the dead would have to renew their lease. Otherwise, the remains of the deceased would be taken out to accommodate new burials and thrown in the bone pit located here at the Osario. Actually, mga kamomens, several important figures in Philippine history were buried in Paco Cemetery. Dr. Jose Rizal na ating bayani. Our national hero, Dr. Jose Rizal, was also buried originally in Paco Cemetery after his execution at Bagumbayan in 1896. His remains were exhumed in 1898 but a cross with his reverse initial RPJ is still marked his gravesite within the park. Ang mga kamomens, nandito tayo ngayon kung saan nilagap ang labi ni Dr. Jose Rizal ng ating pambansang bayani noong pagka-execute sa kanya noong December 30, 1896. So dito nilagat ng kanyang mga labi at nailipat sa luneta noong December noong 1912. The Paco Cemetery was built circular in shape with two enclosures. The inner enclosure was part of the original cemetery structure 
The walls were built with five tiers of niches for burials, with a total of 1,782 niches, including those in the outer wall. A new outer wall was built in the middle of the 19th century to accommodate the growing needs of the city. Pathways for promenades were built later on top of the walls. Paco Cemetery was declared a national park in 1966 and has since been restored as a public park. Nagumburza Press, Father Burgos Gomez Zamora were buried in Paco Park after the execution by Garote because of charges of subversion arising from the 1872 Cavite Mutiny. So mga kamoments, nandito ako ngayon sa harap ng St. Pancratius Chapel. Ito ay nasa loob ng Paco Cemetery and dedicated to St. Pancratius, a Roman citizen who converted to Christianity and was beheaded for his faith at the age of 14. His name is Greek and literally means the one that holds everything. The Paco National Park is being administered today by the National Park Development Committee. Today, the peaceful atmosphere makes the park an ideal location for dating couples, tour groups, and families looking for a quiet spot in the city. Before, bago pang magka-pandemic, um, nag-host sila ng mga cultural events here such as Paco Park Presents where musicians and chorals perform traditional Filipino music.